Hello. I'm looking forward to sharing with you a way of thinking about the future and how you can uh, use your emotional intelligence to help you move towards the future that you want. And I'm going to do this with uh, Think, Feel, Act cards. And you can uh, do it with the cards. We'll put the link in uh, the description. Or you can make your own cards. But it's important that you have them on cards, not um, just a piece of paper. I mean, you could. But it's really helpful to be able to move them around, as you'll, you'll see. So the idea with um, Think, Feel, Act cards is <laughs> that there are cards uh, with different um, feelings and thoughts and actions. And we researched these for several years to develop this set. And there's a whole um, booklet with different activities that you can do uh, with them. But um, what I want to do with you right now isn't actually in the booklet. It's um, something that uh, is really important in moments like this when we have a lot of uncertainty and we don't quite know how to find our way forward or uh, what might be happening. And often in that time, we get really caught up in our, our feelings and our thoughts and our actions about the way things are right now. Um, and you can use this, uh, of course, to explore your current feelings, thoughts, and actions. But um, you can also use it to kind of make a map forward. So I'm going to um, mention that if you don't know what, what, what you want to move towards, it's hard to make a map towards it. But uh, assuming you've had some reflection, you've had some meditation, you've gone through some walks, you've sort of starting to arrive at some vision of, um, of the future and imagining mm, what might you want to be different on the other side of this pandemic, or maybe um, what is a lesson that you want to learn? Um, somebody shared in our LinkedIn group uh, the idea that in, in some ways, um, there are new behaviors and there are new patterns that we're forming right now that may be uh, fragile. And some of those might be precious to us and, and ways that we're thinking and acting and feeling right now that actually maybe we want to, um, we want to be able to, to hold on to in the future. So whatever it is that you're, you're looking at is, is you're kind of moving into this future-oriented thinking, um, you can use the cards as a way of helping you kind of find that map. Okay, so um, we can turn off my camera and just go to the cards for a second. And what uh, you'll see with these cards is, um, you know, there are these three different decks. And um, you, can, um, you can work with them. And um, not sure, it looks like we have me still on here. I don't know if you can make the cards on, uh, Sean, by themselves. But um, you could start by um, with with any of the the, the three parts that you want. Um, uh, I think sometimes you know for some of us it's easier to notice what we're feeling. For some of us, it's easier to notice what we're thinking. For some of us, it might be easier to know um, what we're doing. Um, And in the deck, we have wild cards. Uh, so I can recognize quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of things that I'm doing right now. Um, I'll just leave those up here. And um, some things that I'm thinking. Mm, ouch. Mm, all right, well, I'm going to use a wild card. I don't know what to do. Okay. All right, well, that's enough. So you can set up. Uh, the cards kind of think about where you are. 
And then the really interesting part that I want you to try the activity is where do you want to go? So I'll put these up kind of a little out of my way here. And um, thinking about what do I want? Hmm, well, that's a lot to ask. Okay. Maybe that's more accurate. Okay. So, um, in a way, kind of taking a little bit of a, a, a vision here of the more of that future state. Um, I'm going to do a wild card on this one too, which is going to be uh, we can find a way. Okay, I'm going to use a wild card here, which is about um, engage uh, on what's really important. Okay, so now I have kind of what, where I want to go and where I am. And then the question that I think is super powerful and interesting for you to explore is what might be something in the middle? So this might be in the middle for me. This might be more in the middle. Okay, that might be more in the middle. I'm going to put another action here, which is um, to really uh, mm, bring have conversations about priorities. That's what that one says. I don't know if that's quite right. That's, that's more right. So I might go with open. And by the way, you can write on these cards with a dry erase pen and then erase them. Um, so I think I might have to take another wild card um, here for thoughts, which is about, um, I don't need to know exactly, maybe that goes there. And then maybe I'll another, put another think wild card here, which is, um, I don't need to know exactly. Um, there are a lot of options and Um, we can we can find a better way. That's what that one's going to say. So what I've done now is I've started to see for myself um, about kind of where I am and where I want to be. And um, we can start to have now some sense of what a pathway might look like. And I think this is one of the very important challenges for us in the process of change, is that when we look at change, a lot of times we look only at the action cards or what's gonna happen, the kind of practical things. And we miss paying attention to the emotional parts that will fuel and support that. And what I would say is that um, most change efforts fail, and one of the major reasons change efforts fail is because of a lack of attention to this uh, human dynamics. So whether you're talking about your personal changes or changes in a family or in a business or in a whole society, if we don't really put that emotional part front and center, we're going to have a, a very hard time actually catalyzing change. When I look 
at um, my cards here, what this does for me is it gives me some of the um, emotional side and the rational side and the what to do part. And by combining those three parts, uh, I begin to feel a greater sense of what's possible. Now, what you'll find when you do this is that at the end, what you have at the end is going to change. And that's okay. So when you just take a snapshot of this, um, and actually we have a, an app that's about to come out. And um, we're going to be able to share that with you really soon. But uh, you can start to capture these and, and to kind of iterate this process of looking at where you are and where you want to be. So I hope that's useful for you as you start to um, consider the the new normal. And we have a um, show tomorrow about finding purpose. Next week, we have a show about moving. Um, are we going to move backward to the old normal? Or are we going to move forward to something new? And you'll see there are a lot of the growing new classes that are coming up right now. They're in this space of really grappling with our current reality, learning from where we are, and at the same time, looking ahead and looking ahead as uh, leaders, as change makers, as coaches, as teachers, as friends, as parents, as managers, senior executives, frontline workers, wherever we are, we have this duality. Where are we? Where do we wanna be? And this is an amazing capacity we have to do this kind of time travel and looking back and looking ahead and looking at the now. And we need to bring all three of those parts together. So I look forward to seeing you in some of our upcoming classes on Growing You and in our free live stream events uh, tomorrow and uh, in the next few weeks. Thanks so much for joining.